Defining an industry's boundaries is incomplete without an understanding of its structural attributes. Structural attributes are the enduring characteristics that give an industry its distinctive character. Consider the cable television and financial service industries. Both industries are competitive and both are important for our quality of life. But these industries have very different requirements for success. To succeed in the cable television industry, firms require vertical integration which helps them lower their operating costs and ensure their uh, access to quality programs, technological innovation to enlarge the scope of their uh, services and deliver them in new ways, and extensive marketing using appropriate segmentation techniques to locate potentially viable niches. To succeed in the financial services industry, firms need to meet very different requirements among which are extensive orientation of uh, customers and an extensive capital base. How can we explain such variations among industries? The answer lies in examining the four variables that industry comprises. That is, n uh, concentration, economies of scale, product differentiation, and barriers to entry. Concentration. This variable refers to the extent to which industry sales are dominated by only a few firms. In a highly concentrated industry, the intensive competition declines over time. High concentration serves as barrier to entry into an industry because it enables the firms that hold large market shares to achieve significant economies of scale. And thus to lower their prices to stymie attempts of new firms to enter the market. Next is economies of scale. This variable refers to the savings that companies within an industry achieve due to increased volume. Simply put, when the volume of product increases, the large range average cost of unit pr product uh, pr uh, of the unit produced will decline. Economies of scale result from technological and non-technological sources. The technological sources are a high level of mechanization or uh, automation and a greater up-to-dateness of plant and facilities. The non-technological sources include better managerial coordination of production functions and processes, long-term contractual agreements with suppliers, and enhanced employee performance arising from specializa specialization. Economies of scale are an important determinant of, of the intensity of competition in an industry. Firms that enjoy such economies can change lower prices than their competitors. They also can create barriers to entry by reducing their uh, prices temporarily or permanently to deter new firms from entering the industry. Next is product differentiation. This variable refers to extent to which customers perceive products or services offered by firms in the industry as different. Perceived differentiation results from the way in which firms position their uh, products and from their uh, success in persu persuading customers that their products differed significantly from competi uh, competing products. 
Marketing strategies provide the vehicles through which the, this is done. Real and perceived differentiations often intensify competition among existing firms. On the other hand, successful differentiation poses a competitive disadvantage for firms that attempt to enter an industry. And finally, the last variable that is barriers to entry. The barriers can be tangible or intangible. The tangible barriers include capital requirements, technological know-how, resources, and the laws regulating entry into, the, into an industry. The intangible barriers include the reputation of existing firms, the loyalty of customers uh, to existing brands, and access to the managerial skills required for successful operation in an industry. Entry barriers both increase and reflect the level of uh, concentration, economies of scale, and product differentiation in an industry. And such increases make it more diffi difficult for uh, new firms to enter the industry. Therefore, when high barriers exist in an industry, competition in that industry declines over time. Summarizing, analysis of concentration, economies of scale, product differentiation, and barriers to entry in an industry enables a firm's executives to understand the forces that determine competition in an industry and set the stage for identifying the firm's competitors and uh, how, the position, how they position themselves in the marketplace. Industry regulations are a key element of industry structure and can constitute a significant barrier to entry for corporations. Escalating regulatory standards costs have been serious concern for uh, corporations for years. As legislative bodies continue their stronghold on corporate activities, businesses feel the impact on their bottom line. In-house council de departments have been perhaps the most significant additions to corporate structure in the past decade. Legal fees have skyrocketed and managers have learned the hard way about the importance of adhering to regulatory standards. Log on to my website www.asifjmeer.com Also visit my blog at asifjmeer.wordpress.com Have a wonderful day.